Namaste, dear divine selves. What is difficulty in knowing that which is universal knower? What is difficulty in attaining that which is ever attained? That is the greatest puzzle. The self, variously known as God, Brahman, Paramatman, is an ever present, an ever shining reality, not an ordinary reality. Most intimate and most immediate real reality of yours. Is there anything more immediate and more intimate than the Self, the Atman, the Brahman, the Paramatman? No. The Atman, Brahman, Paramatman or God you are in search of is the most immediate and most intimate reality of yours mine and of everyone and everything else is being the self of everything and everyone the innermost core of everything and everyone is nothing but the self the atman the god of the nature of pure consciousness pure being and infinite bliss. There is nothing in the universe which is ever present, ever shining and ever attained. But that which has become so difficult to understand and attain and know is ever attained, ever revealed, ever shining. That is the greatest mystery. Self-realization, God-realization should be the easiest, quickest, effortless reality. Because your self, the Atman, the substratum of the entire universe, which is ever present in everything as everything, is ever shining, ever revealing itself in everything, in every experience, in every cognition. And yet we are saying that, Aham na janami, I don't know that supreme reality i don't know the atman what it is this illusion this ignorance is because you think that the brahman paramatman or atman is an external reality anthropomorphic reality sitting somewhere in up in the heavens and you are something petty perishable. The truth is that the declaration of the all Vedantic scripture is that Brahman is your most immediate and most intimate reality ever, ever, choicelessly, helplessly, helplessly effortlessly even if you wish to not have the self impossible it's a choiceless reality it's ever shining because it is substratum and ground of everything take for example if a wave on the surface of the ocean or a group of waves decide to dissociate and separate from the ocean. Tell me, is it possible? 
impossible it's choicelessly available because the reality of the ocean is the reality of the waves the water is the essence and reality of the waves and water alone is the reality self essence of the infinite ocean even so whether you wish it or not whether you know it or not there is no other god brahman parmatman eternal supreme reality outside you other than you different from you separate from you that's why it's called it's intimate and immediate reality your atman is the most immediate and most intimate reality why is it called most intimate and most immediate and you can experience you can experience it as such but due to ignorance and not knowing the process we are suffering we are unaware and ignorant about that supreme immortal almighty reality ever shining within us simply because we are searching in the wrong direction the god and the brahman and parmatman is the innermost core innermost essence of yours and you are looking for that supreme reality somewhere outside that is the biggest problem the second problem is that you yourself about yourself have come to form an opinion that i am this body mind entity body mind intellect is what is what constitutes i my personality that is the second big mistake let us take one by one first of all we think that anything and everything has a real existence is being perceived by our sensory organs so this entire world of names and forms constituting the universe is the only reality but that is the realm domain and universe of matter which is unconscious inert but the reality of this entire universe which is an appearance as in the case of the infinite ocean the waves the foam the bubbles on the surface of the ocean are nothing but different names and forms of the same water of the ocean shoreless boundless ocean alone appears as bubbles waves foam even so the entire universe is an appearance in me the sachidananda the brahman the paramatman of the nature of pure being or pure existence sat chit pure consciousness and infinite bliss ananda and it is the innermost core of myself there is nothing as innermost as this and everything else is external to that innermost reality of myself so our entire activity during the so called waking state is directed towards external world we are perceiving enjoying experiencing the external world which is nothing but an illusory imaginary appearance of my own true atman which is of the nature of pure consciousness bodha roopu my true essential pristine pure original fundamental nature is of pure consciousness and i am appearing as the infinite universe of the names and forms as in the case of a dream the dreamer and the mind of the dreamer alone appears 
the huge oceans the mighty mountains the elephants the huge cities that you watch or see during the dream is nothing but your mind through the light of pure consciousness of fears i the infinity of names and forms the the dreamer and the dream world are one and the same you reality once you wake up when you wake up in the morning and when you begin to analyze as to where did this huge might mighty mountains or uh, huge oceans i saw in the dream have disappeared you come to realize that there was nothing as the mighty mountains and deepest oceans as i saw in the dream just lying on my bed in my bedroom and it was just sheer projection of my own mind my mo- own mind through the light of pure consciousness became all the entire dream world you see sun moon galaxies and stars dazzling in the sky during the dream and once the dream is <laughs> dream has come to an end you realize it was all illusory it was a dream even so during the waking waking time what you call the real world the entire world of names and forms in reality is nothing but an appearance an imaginary appearance out of myself my pure consciousness through the illusory <coughs> illusory entity called mind and the senses they are all super illusory means upadhi is the limiting adjuncts of mind body intellect have created falsely created this entire world of objectivity in reality i am the essence source substance and substratum of the entire objective universe the entire universe is a mere projection of myself my own atman in upon and through my atman this entire world of objectivity is being experienced and has appeared and finally it dissolves back within me only therefore i am the ultimate reality and this universe is nothing but a mere projection of my own mind there is no separate reality that than the pure consciousness the atman the self and the world outside are not two but the most important thing that you have to keep in your mind is that though the world and you are one and the same but you are substratum you are the foundation you are the ground on which the entire universe is an appearance but not vice versa the world cannot exist without you but you are an ever existing and ever shining reality self luminous self effulgent reality so you don't get affected whether the world is here or the world has gone to dogs the world dissolves into nothingness or non existence doesn't affect your existence because you are that infinite absolute unconditioned reality upon which this entire world of names and forms has appeared and existing and finally dis- disappears therefore go deep within and see the seer that seer the self luminous witnessing consciousness is the most intimate and immediate reality of yours and that is ever present once you shut out your senses and take your entire mental attention on your witnessing consciousness the seer the knower the perceiver and experiencer of everything then immediately you realize your true nature then and there the entire world of names and forms dissolves and that is called self realization and you begin to chant chidananda roopah shivoham shivoham